Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I just got back from my vacation, and these guys just got back from cleaning up after that last raid. Last of the bodies have been been dealt with, we'll put it that way. And their injured are down here, have been treated. Our injured, for the most part, have worked their way through this. Kai is still in there. Daniel, he just... Oh, he went to bed up here. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I see there's a little problem with pre-designating these. Yeah, hmm. He got treated, though. He got treated real well. <laughs> um, okay, Daniel, can you, um, um, why, don't you, why don't you come join us? Thank you. Who else? Alicia has been hauling bodies, and now she ran up to go haul down a turkey, so I switched her off of hauling, got her going again. But, Alicia, you were almost healed already. I didn't worry about it. 39 out of 40 on that gunshot wound. Yeah, you've, you've got a great uh, immunity system there, immune system. You're, uh, you're going to be fine. One, two, three, that's it. That's it. Kaya, you got worked on, and bruise, crack bruise. Okay, you're fine there. Of these two, this one is a potential character for Gnarly. Um... Also because of the jogger and fast learner, that's that's huge. Would love to have had some passion on shooting, but we can we can manipulate numbers a little bit here to create a character that's gonna be fun for him. I'm not convinced I like Vaz. The very neurotic and the annoying voice and the jealous. All that together means the 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 mood is gonna always be down in here. Always on a crisis mode. So now you're gonna go away, but I wanted to get you at least a little bit of of uh, mood and whatnot. We got the 25 in there. Okay, so you are going to release as soon as you're able to, which isn't going to be for a while. So don't have to worry about it. We really, really shot this guy up. Um, but with that, what else is going on? Vass is no longer capable of walking. Oh, we could haul him out any time now. Um, 20 hundred. That means everybody is off to get some much needed recreation. So many people. We're on this list of uh, minor break risk. It was, I don't know how many, six or seven of them on there. So most have kind of, uh, well, Handy was the leader of it. She's calmed down. Sangria, Bill, and Faith. There's Sangria, so she is hopping out of that problem. Yeah, heading for there. Bill and Faith, where are you guys at? Uh, Faith is sleeping. And, boy, I'd love to get her up just so she can go out and do some mood things, but I don't think it's going to work that way. Let's let's let the, the rest do it. And Bill, you are on your way to playing chess, and your mood is going into critical. Oh, we got a little better there. I guess we got into a little bit cleaner area. And Beauty's going up to there. Joy is through the roof, and no longer capable of walking. We've already got rid Kaya's on the job. Get Vass out of here. Okay. We'll drop Vass over here next to the clubs, okay? That that way, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll feel comfortable with that. <laughs> what is that noise? Who's working on a floor? I hear it, but I don't see it. Over here. I feel like somebody's putting flooring in to the storage area. Right there. Uh-huh. Kaya dropped him off. Very politely, he skipped the uh, the door with all the the uh, the clubs, and he's working his way probably out here and gone. Okay. So yep, I'm back. Got back. Um, let's see. Last night. Yeah, I went to work today. Way behind. Managed to carve a little time this evening to get back to recording. Tomorrow's Fourth of July, so like, you're probably seeing this on Fourth of July. So I'll shut that my, my business down for that day but I'll still head down there and get some work done some catching up the week that I was gone but uh, drove a little over 2,000 miles you know 1,000 miles each way so spent most of the trip driving but that was fun too lots to see out there all down the uh, the uh, west coast of the US so David is laying out more and chatting with a prisoner. Okay, keep his mood up. Don't know if this is our gnarly, though. So I've got set just for friendly chat. 
because once we get things calmed down a little bit, we need to figure out what to do here. That's probably next episode. I'm assuming our timer is good to go now for uh, no more raids for a while. <laughs> See if I'm wrong there. But um, got to figure out just what to do here. And that's, that's really not that easy. It seems easy, but... <sighs> we could set a whole bunch of melee right here. The problem is they, they'll take up cover behind and they'll start shooting through. So how do we deal with that? We could... I'm going to leave it on pause so I can think about this for a little bit. Just play around with the idea. We could do something like this. And they've got to walk through and around. And then, I, I guess, there... Hmm. No, nope, that's not quite it. What am I trying to do here? Let's cancel those. Do... I guess just something like that? I want I want to get a bunch of melee sitting outside. This isn't quite it. I want to get them to open up into that area. So if I were to do that, if I were to do this, they have to turn the corner. All of our guys out here, they'd have to walk into it. Oh, they could still take cover right here, though and shoot. That's possible. Trying to get... I'm assuming people are going to pop out of here. I'm assuming that they're going to have ranged weapons. I'm assuming they're going to want to sh come out as enemies and shoot us. So if we could fist fight them down, we might actually get somebody to survive. Of course, you know they're going to pop out of there with doomsday rockets. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm not sure what to do here. I'd love to take them all down by melee and see if we can salvage the best one. That's the goal, and that might be where Gnarly's actually hiding right now. If not, then we could work with the name, the unpronounceable name over here. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's get this going again. So that's probably next episode's plan. Also, we're at the 7th of September. This is, I believe, officially the end of our growing season. So I've turned all the outdoor uh, fields off now. Everything over here is no longer allowing sowing. And for that matter, it'd be nice if we are still allowed to do any sowing to get more trees planted. So, hmm, out of curiosity, can I still? I mean, are we, we're at, after midnight, are we still growable? Or not. I cannot get Rabbit to do any planting in here. The, oh, it doesn't. Turn that back off. Okay. Allow sowing. Try that again. Rabbit, can you sow? What was that? Prioritize sowing. You can still. So outside of the growing season, I don't think we're allowed to sow outside if we wanted to. Seems like I've tried that before and it would not let me do it. It may, it may prove me wrong, but that's what I remember from last year. Last game year at this time. I found a point at which I can no longer tell them to... Uh, to do any planting but I would love to get all of this uprooted you know harvested in exchange for getting trees put into here so food wise how are we doing we're stocked here we're starting to get stocked back in here which is really nice and we got a good supply of, of meals in stock now so I think we're gonna be okay for a while we've got Alicia's healed good in fact you're ready to start the day no you're gonna go rest Okay, you didn't quite get all the sleep you wanted. We're still within that range of, of sleep time. Okay, David is still up. I hear him. Boy, I hear him. Where are you? David, where are you at? There you are. Boy, you blended right in there. <laughs> okay, well, he wants to get this floor in because he's tired of the mess. So once the floor is in, I can start laying down more of the wooden shelf units. Um, anything more important for David to be doing right now? We still need to get a room for Diamond, which is somewhere in here. We need to get carpeting into, um, that is Oath Knight's room. And he's still waiting on his chair. He's getting kind of cranky about that. <laughs> and we need to get, we're done, I think, for the melee characters for the moment. Um, this one, who's in here? Daniel is in that one. Okay. Radar, Billy, Vliss, Oath Knight. Okay. Faith, Alicia, Kaya, Natalia. So these three rooms need to get worked on also, but... So flooring in here is kind of important. Um, 
flooring in these room kind of is, but actually the five will do us for now. Um, other construction projects that are critical. Nothing is coming to mind. I'm assuming we're going to have to... What is our temperature? 35 degrees. We're about... Ah, that's the critical one right there. We've got to get more power going. Whether we get this wall up or not, we've got to get more power going. Okay. I'm going to leave a pause and think about that. Um, David, what have you got left in you? You do have some in you. Why don't you get to working on hauling steel? Um, who else is up that knows how to build things? Oath Knight just got up. He's not a constructor, though, right? Not really, no. What is he doing? He's feeding a fine meal to Daniel. Daniel is still in the hospital, and Oath Knight is medical first. Okay, that's good. Um, you're done. And Daniel, how far are you? Can we call you done soon? 30 out of 30 and 27 out of 30. Eh, I think so. Eh, we'll leave you alone. You're still officially resting? Uh, nope, you're done. So if I were to break you and do that, go relax socially, get your joy up. Yep, you'll heal on the run. Okay, with that, is that is the end of our, of our injuries. All the way around. Okay, good. Um, I... Okay, fully healed. There we go. I forbid this one so they wouldn't grab the one to heal and then run over and get more and heal. I wanted them to bring full load over. And let's get this built up a little bit. It's not critical that we go and steal this one for something just yet. Unless we, I don't know, get a spur of the moment heart attack nearby. Then at least we'll know it's there. Um, what do we have here? We've got Cyprian made a good wooden sculpture. Beauty 150. Cyprian, what'd you make? On this work is a portrayal of sea stars winning at the horseshoe pin. Aha! Wearing a devastated look. Sea stars towers above the scene. A personified depiction of tyranny is shown <laughs> to the right of the main scene. While the work is infused with the idea of murder and is done in a symbolic style. She really takes her her uh, horseshoes seriously. This portrayal tells the story of sea stars relaxing at a horseshoe pin, 4th of September, 5503. Um, sea stars, you are in this area. There, there, there. Where are you? Right there. No statues yet. Beauty of. Point three. You need it. Okay. Uh, right there. Need you to install. And it's called what? God number four. <laughs> yep, she takes it serious, all right. Sea stars, you're going to get that right in there. Okay, in fact, you know, I kind of like that better if it was closer to the bed. I've noticed that as I move this around, it changes a little bit, doesn't it? I guess when it's not, not an enclosed space. Point three here, point three there. Yeah, that's counting the whole space. I guess it doesn't matter. Out here as you move around, see the point eight? 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So as you move around, get closer to a negative or get closer to a good positive, it, it, it varies it. But the room seems to be all sealed and, and contained and just one generic value for everything. Okay, that's that. And who could do that rather quickly? Billy, you are needs... You're up for a while. Do you haul? You Maybe. Maybe. You are going here. Hey, you haul. So once you drop that off, then you can go do that. All right, so let you guys run. And as soon as constructors start to get up, that's Eric and David. That's uh, Handy. Tomasov's able to. Vliss, Radar. And Kaya is too. But consuming a meal. And we will always be in need of clothing. What are you? You are t shirt and you are duster why are these on the floor let's get ah oh, we just skewed all of our results including the ones that are still in here darn okay well let's just do this for a while give us three more of those and duster give us three more of those pants we'll go to 12 on those because all of these just might count still. They're, they are in a stockpile. That one and that those three do not. That's a shirt and a, and a what do you call that? A parka. 
Okay. Any other clothes still out about? Yeah, we should. Oh, you're over here. That's the garbage pile. And why is there silver over here? Apparently, we got more in there than I was planning. No, only apparel. So apparently, that just fell right there. So whoever was killed here had 56 silver. And there was another silver laying out in here, another 47. And still weapons out and about. But there's so much to do. So much. Okay, let's get this thing going, get the doing going. I need constructors. Inspiration, shoot frenzy. Shantigo. Okay. I don't see why you can't take off and do some, some hunting. Jump to location. Sure. We're, we're good on meals. We've, we've got lots of people qualified for cooking. I'd say you can sneak away and go have some fun. So Shantigo, you, let's see here, work and find you this way, right down there. Hunt is that one. Take that up and that down. That gives you your first one as a hunting. Go enjoy the shoot frenzy. Now I was about to say, Handy, how bad off are you? Why don't you go get a meal and then I want you to start hauling steel. So consume a meal and then I need you to fill in um, I guess, like, here, conduit, but you're going to fill in all the sandbags, too. David, you are hauling steel, and we have eight components. Ouch. Okay, well, that's where that whole thing ends, isn't it? Darn. Well, what am I going to do with that, then? I guess we could flick off... No, there were no switches on these, right? No, I can't turn off auto doors. I can break conduit to it. Begrudgingly, though, they're going to keep snapping to something else in the distance till they, till they can't reach anymore. And our pathways going up are crossing so many auto door paths. How do we get four lights up and running on two of these... What? 3,600 watts, and each of these is 2,900. You need one of these for each of those. Boy, more greenhouses sometimes are not the best idea. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to figure this out. You, for starters, can turn off. And I don't want to run it yet, because I want to get everybody out there building. Eric, David, okay, let's just run through this. Handy, you've already been assigned. Klaus, you can build. You're consuming a fine meal. Find you. You're over there grabbing a meal. Okay. What is this dining room considered now? You are a very impressive dining room. Nice. Okay, well, that worked. Um, what else goes over here? It was going to be more of these meals here, but that's not really needed now. We could put in some... Uh, well, I guess this already is it. Some... Uh, herbal medicines. Did you got both in here? You don't. Let's go ahead and do both and see if there's a chance that we can get a little bit coming this direction. Um, the other stack is here and there's only 21 of it left, but as soon as this pops, it's going to go in random places and that's 57%. Okay. Well, high priorities right now. Get as many people growing as possible. I think. You know, I don't know if that's true. Meaning, you've got to have some skill to harvest this stuff, or it's all, or it all fails to harvest. Yeah. Hmm. Let's harvest. That didn't work. What did I just tell to harvest? I don't know. I don't see the symbol. There? No. There. Okay. Meant to go to orders and harvest. Let's harvest those. And I guess we'll grab all of the, the good, the highest percentages in here. That's all of that. We'll see if the others can grow a little bit longer on their own. That's there. Up in here. Through here. Okay. That's the end of it, right? Appears to be. Okay. With that, grow. Let's just make sure our, good, our best growers are on grow right now. Uh, grow... You're on plant cut first. So marking to harvest should still be grow. And if there's nothing to plant cut, you should still drop into it. Uh, Manuela. That's fine. Faith's good. Sangria's good. Catherine's good. 
Bill, you're a 10 out of 20. You're good, too. And so is Alicia. Okay. The best ones, 10 or more, are going to hopefully break away today and go pull all those up. So... Yeah, we're going to get as much out of there as we possibly could. Let's put it that way. You're at 88%, but I'm not going to worry about you just yet. We'll switch you over to something else. What should we switch you over to? Don't need any more of this going on. Though we could do some more cotton inside. I wasn't going to do any more cotton, though. What's our cotton supply? You're the 700, almost 800. Um, a bedroom. So we'll take oath nights. Seven times. 36. What is 7 times 36? About 200 and something. Uh, 7 times 36 equals 252. Another 14. So 266 will finish a room. So that's 3 rooms worth. 1, 2, and a little more than that. Plus we need... There's what we got over here. Marble tile over there. You are blue carpet... You are green and cream. There's Shantigo. Already did it. Good job. Okay. Um, David, you're hauling more over there. Can we wait till spring? Another shooting frenzy. Radar. Okay. Can we wait till spring to plant more cotton is what's going through my mind right now. Or should we get a small patch of that going to make sure that we've always got medicine in which case this would be well i want food over here because it's closest to storing it hate to have uh, non-foods in that space anymore that was kind of a mistake what's our smallest space let's put this one into cotton temporarily nothing else has been replanted except for a couple of them right there so let's put you into cotton and we'll do that one but did radar go where i hoped he would he did not. He's going that way. Can I get you out over here to harvest? And is that crazy talk? Right? Cut. It's considered cutting now. Okay. Well, then even though it's, it's listed as harvest, it's considered cutting. That's what I was wondering about. Kind of frustrating. Okay, well then, you're going to all set to cutting first, and you're all going to set to gardening or growing second. And Faith will miss it, so she's got to get to there. Any others with ones earlier than that? Uh, hunting and cooking. Oh, he's not in the list. It's this group right here from Alicia Upward. Okay, so that should get that job done. So in that case, uh, Tomislav, what you doing? You are wearing, okay, handy. You are bringing steel. Grab it. What is my time anyway? You know, I don't know. My timer got bumped and it's no longer in the front of my screen oh this will be an unknown episode a length of an episode shantigo's there we need to reset radar let's do that right now radar why don't you go out and shoot too and have some fun radar turn your hunting to a one and then drop back into crafting after that you are still in bed anyway needs you're done hop up and and grab a meal and then go hunting right there okay i was at klaus shantigo where was i at Rat, rabbits over there klaus you are building okay you need to be up here hauling steel actually you're down there no you're not down there where there's any uh tiles uh blocks but you'll pass some blocks why don't you come up and fill in that blank because it's driving me nuts see if we can fill in the last there's one over there too and one over there and then this structure is done um, outdoor temperature during the daytime 39 degrees mm. i need to get this roofed over but once i do it i they won't grow anymore because there's no more uh, uh planting I mean, no more light for it and while i'm thinking of that let's go ahead and eliminate uh okay let me look at that one and look at this one same pattern three three this one three and three everything else now we got some voids in there too. I'm going to let those continue for now. But let's go ahead and get rid of these. So zone and delete there and there. Okay. And 
there. Okay, so we don't, won't need to plant anything in those spaces, but yeah, I do have some voids to kill out here. Um, Sangria, you are training a wild boar. Did I get Klaus up going up there? I, yeah, you're hauling blocks. Okay, I did. And too bad there's no way to do more than one at a time. That's kind of frustrating. But so Sangria, you are training a wild boar number 70. Uh, Kathra sleeping needs. Let's pop you up and get a meal in you. Let's check the needs of everybody else. Tomislav, you are going to get a meal right after that automatically. Okay. Shantigo's fine. Klaus, Sangria, Kathra's getting a meal. Okay. Natalia, you are what? Playing horseshoes, getting your joy up. That's fine. It's 7 in the morning. They do it at 10 in the morning, the night shift. So you'll get a call to do that twice today. Michael. You are cooking a fine meal, and that's a great plan. Miss B, you made it down here to start working on more steel. That's a good thing, because we've got a lot of need for steel right now. I don't know what's going to pop in over here, but you've got enough to keep you busy most of the day. Um, so yeah, we've got that to think about next time. Miss B, you're over here. Alicia, you are harvesting hay grass. Let's harvest double strand. Perfect. Eric. You are hauling steel to power conduit down in here. Nope, let's get you to haul steel to... Wish I knew how far Handy was going to go. Why don't you grab the corner and power conduit over there. David, you are building marble... Nope, continue... Ah, wait a minute here. I can't, so we brought... No. Why can't I get... David to right click on that because somebody's in there's a rat in it that's why and disease oh no David continue on that no Shantigo and grandma and sea stars and Klaus and diamond and who knows how many others haven't made it to roll out onto the screen yet Okay, because I think there's a limit here. Well, I have to set a lot of people to our our uh, uh, failing supply of herbal medicines. Yep, that's the end of the herbals, that's for sure. Which means it's the end of the blue medicines, too. We've got a good stash of it, though. And still quite a bit of our Nutramine. Um, so, David, got you. Grandma, you are using a telescope. Leave you to that. Bill... I wonder if I should set this roof and just start doing one light at a time. That's a... I just saw that as I saw Grandma. I saw all these batteries. That's what got me thinking about it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Zone, let's build roof over this area. Like so. Yep, nothing popped outside. And right there. Okay. You guys build that roof. When you're done, I'll turn all these on. That'll get one room going. I could do just part of this. I got to thinking, you know, just run one light at a time, but I won't be able to uh, uh, to heat the room because it'll all be considered outside. Once I seal up to, to hold the heat in, then I lose all the light and everything will start to die. That's going to be rough up there until we figure out how to get a hold of eight components. Now, there's a thought, kind of a request come in to uh, as an idea to get us out into the world map with a small party and go out and, and maybe just search for, you know, just quick trips to search for components and mine all the components we can find and bring them back. That's an interesting idea, but I still have to send a full-on assault party. You know, I can't send just one or two with a rifle or, or a minigun because we could still be ambushed by four or five uh, enemies and suddenly everybody is, is gone. So I've got to treat every one of those little excursions as if they're huge, you know, very important excursions. So I kind of like to deal with this first, though. This, well, it could sit for a while, but I want to, I need to get Gnarly into the game. And I don't know if, well, I'll tell you what, Gnarly, if you're watching this episode, tell me what you think of these traits and what you would ask to have enhanced toward a character that you're envisioning. So think of it that way. Do you want to hold off and see what's in here? I mean, there could be nothing in here. We, we, this is an unknown. So if this character is interesting to you, then the uh, recruitment's going to be rather quick. 
So give me your thoughts on this character here. And I realize I haven't made it through my list yet, but uh, I think I will do the rest of this off screen. I don't know how long the episode's gone. I've got to get everybody here set for the right medicines and, and a few other miscellaneous things that's going to take more time than I really have to, to give right now. So I think this is an episode, and, and I'll catch you next time, hopefully, with a crowd sitting right here waiting on this or a maybe a couple of packed up muffalo ready to quickly zip out and go uh, go check out on on you know the, the next map square or something and see if we can steal components so one or the other i think is the plan for next episode so gnarly let me know what you think of the unpronounceable uh, character over here and i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching bye bye mm -hmm.